This is Twit. I read a Wall Street Journal article yesterday that says, Foursquare is now tracking users even when the app is closed. Ah, panic. Saw some tweets from people say, oh, this is, this is really, you know, this is you know, a privacy issue. You got to opt out of it. Yeah. Am I crazy, or I, this is not new. I mean, Foursquare must have known where I was when um, I was getting uh, specials uh, on my push notifications when expo when I had Explore turned on. Yeah, I mean, we've been... Same old same, right? Yeah, I was a little confused about the article. I think I, we talked to the reporter, and it seemed like a lot of the details were wrong. Um, you know, we've been doing this since 2011. We launched a product called Radar in October of 2011, and Radar was using basic geofencing, running in the background to try to figure out where you are. And if you stop somewhere, we'll be like, hey, do you want to check in at this coffee shop? And we tried that, and it kind of worked, but it wasn't super accurate, and we worked on it in 2012 and 2013. And now in 2014, we're just like, this is one of the things that our company is really good at, is like, if a phone stops, understanding where it's been. And I feel like every time I get on stage or any time I have the opportunity to tell this story, I'm like, I'm trying to make a version of Foursquare that you don't have to use, one that runs while it's in your pocket and it knows all the places that you go to. Like, I feel like we've been super, super transparent about this. So it shouldn't come to, you know, come as a surprise to a lot of folks. Um, and I, you know, I, I saw a bunch of tweets coming back to me saying like, oh yeah, we know you guys have been doing this forever. It's like, that's the point of the service. And yeah. to be honest, like, I think this is the way that local search evolves. Like if you think about it, Amazon knows all the products you ever bought and that's what they recommend to you. Um, you know, Netflix knows all the stuff that you watch and it recommends things to you. Spotify knows everything that you listen to. So it recommends things to you. It's just a natural progression that like it, for these things to evolve, like Local search will evolve to the point where it understands what, where you go and, and what you like to do, and it will recommend things to you. And I think the only reason you don't see other companies doing that is because it's really hard, and I think we're the first company that's gotten to the point where we could actually pull it off and make it work. And, and also a huge business opportunity, right? I mean, this obviously changes the game in the sense that uh, for local businesses, there's yet even more opportunity for them to get involved with Foursquare. Yeah, this. I mean, local business has been a huge part of um, of what's gotten us to, to this point. Like, we have two million businesses around the world that have claimed their place on Foursquare, and you know they've run specials or they've um, you know they've left tips there, and like there's all these tools that we can build for them that previously were based off of check-ins. And now they can be based off of visits. Like, did someone just show up at your place? So the fantasy use case I always talk about is, you know, I work down in Soho in the middle of New York City, and if a new sandwich shop opens two blocks away, that merchant should be able to, to you know, buy an ad unit in Foursquare that's like, hey, this guy Dennis and a thousand other people happen to live or work within this neighborhood. Let's, um, let's run an ad and see if we can get him to come into our store. And then if Foursquare can be detected as being inside of his store, then, you know, we should be able to get paid for that as a, you know, a standard like conversion metric. So that's a lot of the stuff that we're looking at. How do we use what we're doing to drive foot traffic to local merchants and to build an ad product that only, um, only causes them to pay us when we drive a customer into their store? Like, that's like the holy grail of local. I wonder, Dennis, I, it, it's funny because... As you mentioned, there are the people who still say, oh, yeah, Foursquare is about checking in mayor ships and, oh, it's that, that app that launched at South by Southwest a few years ago. And mm -hmm. that it, it, must be, it mm -hmm. must be really challenging not only to build a new product, realize that a new app needs to be built outside of this product and still be able to communicate that, which, yeah, you know, as you mentioned, you've got articles that are written where you're like, I tried to communicate this and you're not getting it. You're, you're focusing yeah. on the wrong thing or, you're, or your data is wrong in general. I think, I think a lot of people say, well, you, you know, you just change the app, whatever. How hard can it be? I mean, the, this is the several years long in process and continuing. How does, how does that, how do you deal with that? Uh, it's tough. I mean, like I was, um, you know, talking to an entrepreneur this morning about things. And I think when you start a company, you're so excited about the launch and you don't think like, hey, you're going to be in this thing for five, eight, 10 years if it's really successful. And, you know, we're at like the halfway mark. Like people always, always compare us to Twitter and Facebook and they say, oh, well, you're, you're not generating enough revenue or you're, you're not there yet. I'm like, it took those companies like eight years to get there and we're at year five, so give us a little bit more time. Um, but I think the other part of it is that, you know, you, you constantly have to, you have to be really self-aware of where we are in the, in the marketplace and like, hey, what, what's working and what's not working? 
Like we, I, we can talk all day long about having all these amazing social local search tools, but if people can't find them and they can't use them because the product's too complicated, like we have to, you know, we have to um, beat ourselves up over that, and we have to make changes to the product so that like we can accomplish our goals, and that's what we've been trying to do over the last eight months or so. Which is why it's so fun to launch that app yesterday and be like, oh my god, people really appreciate it, they really get it, like they're really excited about it. Like everyone here is super jazzed because this thing that we've been talking about for a while, I think other people can finally see what we're trying to do.